up top to Thornton. He should redirect my funk that stuff. Tarasek, the rebound scores! This is Tarek Parasek, a 17-year-old right wing out of Lethbridge, Alberta, eligible for the 2024 NHL draft. This season, he joined the Prince George Cougars of the Western Hockey League, expected to play in a middle six role as the team has some high expectations for the season ahead, given the return of a lot of key players entering their draft plus one and plus two seasons. What's expected of a rookie joining the WHL during their draft eligible season is never anything too intense. Most high-end prospects at this point have already got a full season under their belts with considerable playing time. Just look at guys like Ryder Ritchie of Prince Albert, Caden Lindstrom of Medicine Hat, or even Berkeley Catton of Spokane. All were considerable role players in their draft minus one seasons. This would be expected of most top prospects, and they're already making their marks in their draft eligible seasons. Then there's Parasac. Cases like this aren't too common, and to almost everyone, this is coming off as a huge surprise. But when you dig a little deeper, we can see that this explosive output from Parasac was hiding in plain sight, and it just further goes to show that patience truly is a virtue. The 2021 WHL Prospects Draft was difficult to say the least. The shortened 2020-21 COVID season made things really difficult for scouts across the globe, and there was no shortage of struggle in Western Canada. Most kids were really only able to play 5-10 to 10 games if they were lucky, with a lot of those games also being vastly spread apart. So writing up a scouting report on a player that was never able to reach mid-season form made things quite difficult. Either having players shoot up in the rankings due to one or two good performances, or fall due to one or two off performances. Parasak would only see six games in the 2020-21 season with Edge School, where he'd post five points. That small sample size was enough to impress the Prince George Cougars enough to draft him with a fourth round pick. The following season, Parasak would show that maybe, just maybe, there was more to meets the eye after his draft eligible season. 70 goals across U16 and U18 competition in the CSSHL in only 43 contests, including the playoffs. This was enough for Parasak to take home the U16 MVP and top scoring honors. Usually after a season like this, you'd see an immediate promotion to the WHL. Parasak would be signed following this record setting season prior to the 2022-23 WHL season. He toed up for a couple of preseason games where he'd score twice, but he'd ultimately opt to play one more season at Edge, where he'd further refine his skills and take his U18 prep squad to a 28-4-2 record while coming second in league scoring with another 32 goals to his name. Those 32 goals were enough to make Parasak the all-time leading goal scorer in CSSHL history, taking away the title from someone you might have heard of. Parasak would also lead Edge to a U18 prep championship banner after scoring the game-winning goal and the insurance marker in a 3-1 win over Rink Hockey Academy Kelowna. And guess what? That's me behind the camera. Who else would I interview after a performance like that? And now we reach where we left off, the 2023-24 WHL season. Parasak has finally cracked the lineup, probably gonna play middle six, might see some second unit power play time. That's usually the case unless you're someone like that guy. Who, me? First game of the season, a home matchup with the team the Cougars knocked out last season, the Tri-City Americans. And Holy Christ, that score itself was not expected. But if you jot to the second period, there you go. The first goal of Parasek's young WHL career. It was a nice one. Like, there's no way he won up to that in his season date. Parasek, great move, scores! Oh my. And that was shorthanded? Granted, the score, but still, like, ballsy for the rookie. But that paid off grand. Whatever, rookies have performances like that all the time where they show some flash early on and fizzle out soon Oh, that was, that was a really, really nice shot. Almost like a veteran forward out there already. Surely he can't do that after a PG to Victoria road trip. I mean, that's like a 12 hour travel. They've made rebound score. And a man comes off the wall with a down low feed. They score. Two for three, the man advantage. The fake shot. Bounced in front. Scored. Time of the power play goal. Chance, Ten. and they score. It's Parasak. Fourth Misty. goal of the night. 
six points and four goals. Well, what about next game? I mean, no way. Rookies don't score like that all the time. That's what. Parasak trying to deke out any. No way. Rookies don't score goals like that. That's what 20 year old vets looking for an AHL contract do. Surely this guy has to fizzle out once he gets back. Parasak, the rebound scores! In circle. Becker, Parasak scores! Becker with Parasak, Parasak, Becker with Parasak, Becker scores! Nineteen points, twelve goals, four of which on the power play, and two of which shorthanded, and fifty shots on goal in only ten games. This isn't ordinary. What shocks me the most is how well Parasak has gelled into the WHL already. There's no anxiety in his game, and there can't be honestly. When you're first unit power play and you're on the PK, you have to have confidence across your entire game. The way Parasak is playing, you would have thought he would have defected from Junior A after his season. But when you look back on his past and see what he was capable of at the youth level, this shouldn't even be a surprise. Parasak has built up his game on qualities coaches love while maintaining a high offensive motor. He's been a crucial part of every team he's been a part of in his young hockey career in each and every facet. And I'll say this as well. The lack of an intense spotlight on him as he's developed has probably helped him too. Parasak has been able to steadily progress into the player he is without all the unnecessary distractions. And at this point, he's earning all the recognition he's receiving. But hopefully this video doesn't take that away from what the rest of the Cougars are doing. Andre Becker is looking to be a dynamic two-way force that provides size and skill. Zach Funk is leading the WHL in points as I'm recording this, and he's filling the shoes of Chase Wheatcroft, who put up a historic overager season last year with Prince George. Newly named captain Hudson Thornton is still looking to entice an NHL franchise to give him a chance on the blue line with his dynamic offensive toolkit. And Riley Height is looking to prove a bunch of teams wrong after being selected right before the third round of this year's NHL draft. Craziest thing about all those guys I just listed, including Parasak, those guys, when I was writing down the script, were one, two, three, four, and five in WHL scoring. And I haven't even mentioned that they got Cohen Zemer back in the lineup from LA, Canucks prospect Ty Young in the crease, and steady Slovak import William Kometz, who's developing an offensive game on the blue line. Carlin DeZane, who's looking to be another middle six contributor. Like, this team is ridiculous. When I was writing all this down, the team had 40 goals, six shorthanded goals, a plus 26 goal differential in only six games. The Cougars are must-watch hockey in the dub this year. Mark my words. And all of this has been brought to our attention by a 17-year-old kid from Lethbridge, who's destined to prove everybody wrong. Thanks for watching.